a tomorrow which is coming in which mankind are going to turn back to gold and silver as money. Uh, even Malaysia. And you're not going to have your ringgit anymore. No university is going to tell you that. How do we know it? Because we turn to the Quran and we turn to Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. If Israel is to rule the world, then Israel will have to begin by ruling the Arab world. I'm sure you'll agree with me. Israel will have to subdue the Arabs. Israel will have to establish an Israeli political and economic dominion over the Arab world. Because that's the beginning of ruling the world. And so now we're beginning to see some light. Now that we have understood from our Islamic eschatological perspective, Al Mu'akhir al Zaman, that Israel wants to rule the world. We know that Israel will have to subdue the Arabs. The plan began with the first ruling state, Britain, and the establishment of Pax Britannica. Can you get me a copy of Jerusalem and the Quran, please? And also Gold Dinar and Gog and Magog, these three. Pax Britannica. Britain ruled the world. Was that by accident? No. It's part of the Jazz plan. And when Britain ruled the world, there was something called the British Sterling Pound. Thank you, Jazakallah. The British Sterling Pound, which became the international currency. And those of you who have read Jerusalem in the Quran, you already know the subject. And then came the second ruling state, the United States of America. And the sterling pound is no longer the international currency. Now it's the US dollar. Is, is this change taking place by accident? Or is there something which explains it? In order for Britain to become the ruling state, Britain had to wage great wars. Britain was the naval power supreme in the world. Britain controlled every single strategically important naval port in the whole world. That's why they took Singapore. For its naval importance. In order for the United States to replace Britain, as the next ruling state in the world. The United States had the great wage big wars, the First World War. Without the United States, Britain would have lost the war. The Second World War, without the United States, Hitler would have won the war. And so, it follows that if Israel is to succeed the United States, as the third and last ruling state in the world, Israel will have to wage big wars. And the first target of Israel's wars must be the Arabs. It's a simple, logical understanding. Nothing so complex here. Yeah. How did we get from the first to the second and then to the third. In this book, it's a Malay artist who designed it. You see there, there are three blue circles. The first one, there is a piece of the hadith, which is in Sahih Muslim. In which Nabi Muhammad said that when the jar is released, he will live on earth for 40 days. 
Yawmun Kasana A day which would be like a year I don't know how long a day like a year is going to be I am not involved in any calculations do not say that Imran Hussein said that a day like a year is going to last 1,000 years because that is false. I have never said that. All that I'm saying is that a day like a year is going to be a very long period of time. That's all. And in a day like a year, I recognize, I recognize Pax Britannica. Britain rules the world. And then came the second one, Yawmun Kashahr, a day which is like a month. How long is a day like a month? I don't know. And I'm not involved in any mathematical calculations. No. What I do know is that a day like a month is going to be a much shorter period than a day which is like a year. And during that second stage, the world noticed, the world witnessed rather, the transfer of power from Pax Britannica to Pax Americana. America rules the world. When we say America rules the world, it does not mean that America has to rule every square inch of Kalantan. That's not ruling the world. What we mean by ruling the world is that there is no rival to your power. No rival. Or no combination of rivals to your power. Hmm? That's a ruling state. And then we said, he will live on earth for 40 days. Yawmun Kasana, a day which is like a year. Yawmun Kashahar, a day which is like a month. Yawmun Kajuma, a day which is like a week. And we said that day which is like a week will, will witness the transfer of power from the United States of America to Israel. And then the world will experience Pax Judaica. Pax Judaica. This is the most important point made in this book. It was made for the first time in this book. If Israel is to rule the world, therefore Israel has to wage big wars, like the United States did, like Britain did. And the first target of Israel's wars will have to be the Arabs, to subdue the Arabs. But in the Arab world, there is one country which is more important than all the rest. Which one is that? It's Egypt. Why Egypt? Again, it's only Ilmu Akhirul Zaman which can answer that question. In the Bible, they rewrote they put in with their own hands in the Bible, in the Torah, that the Holy Land extends from the river of Egypt, the river Nile, to the river Euphrates. Hmm? All of this is the Holy Land. That's false. When we go to the Quran and we go to the Ahadith of Nabi Muhammad we know that this is false. But it's there. So for Dajjal to convince the Jews that he is indeed the Messiah, the state of Israel will have to extend its frontiers to encompass the biblical frontiers, the false biblical frontiers of the Holy Land. And so now we can understand why NATO is in Iraq, up to the Euphrates, occupying this territory because Israel has to reach the Euphrates. But what about Egypt? An Egyptian sent me an email two weeks ago to say, Sheikh Imran, the Israeli embassy in Egypt 